An issue that I've noticed lately is that folks are running into frustration because they might not be aware of source patching. Source patching is a very useful thing that allows you to place audio and video media on the track of your choice in your timeline. Unfortunately, Premiere will appear to behave very oddly if you're not aware of source patching, so hopefully this video will solve that frustration for you. It's important to understand two things. One, that source patching only works for media that's in your source monitor or project panel, what's considered source material, hence the name source patching. And two, that the source patching buttons match up with the media that you've selected. So if you selected some source footage that has one video channel and four audio channels, you'll have one video patch and four audio patches to work with. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to show you the concept with a source that has only one video and one audio channel. To set up your source patching, you need to click on the V1 and A1 buttons that are on the far left side of the track header in the timeline. If those buttons are blue, then you'll insert the video and audio into your timeline when you run an insert or overwrite edit, like so. If either one is gray, then either the video or the audio won't be placed in the timeline. I'm going to undo the previous edit, turn off the audio patching, and then rerun the edit. Notice how the audio wasn't moved into the timeline. The opposite would have happened if I'd turned off the video patch. Coincidentally, the same thing would happen if I had dragged the media from either the source monitor or the project panel instead of running an insert or overwrite edit. So this is useful if you have a source with extra audio channels that you might not want included in your sequence. So maybe the audio channels have nothing recorded on them or contain audio that isn't important to the project you're working on. By understanding source patching, you can bring only the media that you need into your timeline without having to later delete unnecessary clips. Hopefully this helps to clear up some confusion and gives you a new trick to make your work in Premiere a little bit more efficient.